Hey guys, so I just wanted to answer a couple of questions. We had loads of messages about Iron Skull, uh, and I thought it'd be the best way of doing it, it'd be a video, just so you guys can find out a bit more about it, and also just understand a couple of things that are gonna be happening on the day. One of the key things about Iron Skull that I really wanted for painters of any ability that are entering competitions for be it the first time or the veterans of entering painting competitions is a trophy that not only you'd be super proud to own and achieve and aspire to, but something that looks damn good in the display cabinet. Uh, when it came to designing the trophy, I, I'd done a very rudimentary sketch of something that I thought would look quite good. Um, and I couldn't think of two better people to work with to take that really, really basic sketch uh, and create a proper trophy for, than James Taro and also Duncan Shadow. And he took my rudimentary drawing and created an overall design that quite honestly blew my mind. Um, Duncan then obviously came on board and 3D rendered it and done what he does best, which is create incredible 3D sculpts. And uh, I can quite honestly say that working with those two was an absolute pleasure. And we hope that we've delivered a trophy that will endure the test of time and that you guys will want to you know, compete for time and time again. Things about Iron Skull that differentiates it from any other competition is that from day one, I wanted the competition to incentivize painters of any ability to enter and progress their painting and that's one of the key things for me uh, in what we deliver with Iron Skull um, and that's done by the various different prizes that are available for painters now starting off if you've never entered a competition before uh, we have a tier of spot prizes of artist opus brushes uh, that are available for people that enter maybe don't make finalists um, or get any further but there's still something for you to aim for as a painter to win as a spot prize in that entry level after that we then have the traditional finalist pin which means you've made the first cut and got through the first round of judging um, after that you have the three uh, iron skull trophies per category and they are bronze silver and gold one thing that I really, really felt that I've seen in competitions and that I wanted Iron Skull to differentiate and have from other competitions is that maybe, for example, if you, if you don't make the top three, you, there is still the opportunity to win something within the category you've entered that still gives you that tick on your model that you've entered. And what we've introduced is five commended coins per category. Now, what these are, these are resin coins with the Iron Skull trophy logo on it um, that just are an acknowledgement from the judges that you maybe weren't in the running for the top three, but you still were in that higher echelon of models in the category uh, that was considered for the top three and it gives you something nice and tangible to take away from the competition to show you that you were super close to actually winning a trophy as well and also spur you on to aim for a trophy in the next competition. From my experience of painting competitions, one of the key things that I noted that I wanted to improve with Iron Skull is the entry process. Uh, we have a very simple three-step process that will allow you to enter your models online prior to the event, get given a registration number, you turn up on the day, collect that card that's linked to your registration number, and then simply enter your models. What that does is it reduces waiting times, speeds up the process, it gets rid of any issues with spelling errors or things like that, whatever the case may be, and allows you to concentrate on one of the key things that you should be thinking about for the event, which is obviously looking at loads of phenomenal models and catching up with all your friends over the day. When it comes to the judging for Iron Skull, one of the key things for me was that it was an unbiased competition and that also the entries were scrutinised to the highest degree. Uh, and when it came to approaching judges to judge the competition, I couldn't think of anyone better than Andy Wardle, Richard Gray and John Keyes, who are some of the best painters in the miniature community and I know for a fact will deliver a competition with excellent results. So I hope that gives you a really good insight into Iron Skull, the competition, the judging, the prizes, and how to enter most importantly. I really look forward to seeing your entries there on the day. And uh, finally, what I would say is if you can check out the Instagram account, give us a follow on there, or also stop by the website where all the updates and things will be happening. Uh, from all the Siege team and myself, a massive thank you for checking this video out and your interest in Iron Skull. I'll see you there.